Hello, what is up everyone? We're streaming, yay. Um, I'm gonna be opening up this. It just comes with one figure. Darth Maul, it's pretty cool. And I'm also gonna like, go through and just like, read some of it, I guess. So yeah. Hello, the reader, the skeeter, and hello, Lego Captain Rex. What is up, guys? So yeah. Um, I think we're gonna... Should I open the Darth Maul figure first? There's a helicopter that's flying over the house. Should I, um... I think I'm gonna open up the figure first. Because that's, like, kind of the whole point. Alright. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I don't want to ruin the book. Oh, I see how you do it. Okay, so you open it up from open it up from back here. Pop it open. We have Darth Maul already assembled. It's pretty nice, and then of course his lightsaber. Where's the second blade goes? All right, so here he is, the Darth Maul figure from his solo outfit. Really, really cool figure. Um, so he's got leg printing. I'm not sure if it's focusing. He's got toe printing, and he's got just like his Sith robes, looking pretty nice. And then he's got his torso with his necklace, and his outfit with like half of his chest exposed. Of course, has his double blade lightsaber, which is kind of wonky because it's taller than him. It's literally so big. But that's so cool. Cool. Yeah, it's a great figure. Um. I think it's cool. I know for a fact I have one because I found like this piece in my collection, just his head. So I know for a fact I have like another one, but this is an epic figure. And then his back, it just has a hoodie. And um, yeah, it was really, really cool. I tapped on my notification before I could type in the chat. It asked if I was satisfied or dissatisfied. Oh, with the notification? <laughs> you better have said satisfied. Or else I would have actually. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so, so. I'm actually really surprised. A lot of people um, have notifications on. Like, I know uh, Final First Dude and Pancake, I'm pretty sure, both have notifications on. This is crazy. I have notifications on Burner because this one time I was um, waiting for the stream. Uh, to start, and I didn't want to miss it, so I put on notifications. Um, I do little. <laughs> I want notifications. Um, I said satisfied. Okay, good boy. <laughs> Hello, Lemon Juice Studios. What's up? So yeah. Um, if you guys are, if you just came, Lemon Juice Studios, we just opened up the Darth Maul figure from Solo. He's pretty epic. I'm gonna be making a stop, like a, a couple of stop motions with him for sure. Really cool figure. So yeah, that's actually. I'm actually like I know a lot of people they just bought this so that they can get the figure, but I'm also kind of like interested in what they have inside here. So I'm pretty sure it goes in chronological order from um, the movies. So of course we have Episode One. You got the best Star Wars character ever, of course. Charger Binks. <laughs> nice, yeah. Alright, so, uh, and then they also, they show the first version as well, so, um, that's pretty cool. So, obviously, the original Jar Jar Binks, oh, you guys can't see that, but, uh, the original Jar Jar Binks didn't have any printing on his head. He was just a tan head. I have 2015 one. Very overrated, you mean the figure? Yeah, I, I guess it, well, it is a good figure. 
Um, of course, we have this Padme in her if you have Naboo outfit. Here. My iPad's really cool. It has like a stand built into it. So we have the um, Princess of Naboo version of Padme. This figure is like $90, I'm pretty sure. It's really, really expensive. So yeah, that's cool. Hmm, very creepy. And <laughs> Charter -char thinks it's quite creepy. It must be a mistake. George doesn't have a black cloak and red saber. Oh. No, and actually one of my stop motions, I did make him a Sith, and it was very funny. I made him Sith, George. So, of course, we have Anakin. I actually have, um, like, the dual pod racer, the one with Saboba's pod racer and Anakin's from, like, 2011. It was really cool. It's sadly broken now, but... Then we have, of course, R2-D2, who everyone has a million of. Aha, here he is. Yoda. Yay, I was fiddling with Yoda today during school. Just, like, touching him. So, <laughs> yeah, there's Yoda. And then Mace Windu. Here as well. Pretty nice. And then we have the battle droids. I have all of these except for the yellow one. I think the figure's good. Yeah, it's it's a really good figure. Yeah, you're right, Burner. I have three. Yo -y 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 I don't know how to pronounce um letters with letters with like little special abbreviations on them. I have four R2s and four C3s. I have like two C3s and like at least six R2-2s. And then we have Darth Maul, pretty nice. And then Obi-Wan in his Jedi Starfighter outfit. Pretty nice. Ah, uh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear my, my mom and my sister. They're just talking about something. We have Anakin, which is, this Anakin was exclusive to the Republic gunship. I'm pretty sure. It was cool. Um, I don't know either, yeah. And then we have Django Fett. This Django Fett's worth a lot, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's, like, at least, like, $10 nowadays. But, yeah, cool figure. Oh, this, this is, like, the best clone head. I don't know if you, can you guys see this? If they made this the new clone head, that would be awesome. Like, of course, in a darker tone, a darker skin tone, that would be the best. And then we got Boba Fett, is um, younger look. Tuscan Raider. Hello, Chromebooks Productions. What's up? We are just going through the Lego like, Star Wars encyclopedia, and also, um, I opened this Darth Maul up, which is pretty cool. A Anakin actually in his blue star for, for in episode two. Four. Wait, no, that didn't come. Did it? Was he in? Was he in that set? I don't remember. I, th I thought he was only in the. Hmm, good to know. I did not know that. But that was that was an epic set from the original Clone Wars. Oh my gosh, it's him, Obi Wan. Hello there. <laughs> yeah. General Kenobi. And it can uh yeah, I don't know that. Um hey Lemon Juice Studios, I guess you're back. And then Tus Tuscan Raider, of course, in his original version. Just pretty awful. Then we have Padme from the Rebel Gunship. This one was definitely exclusive. I know that. Exclusive to the um, public gunship. No, I was still here. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you just want to make sure that you're watching. So there. Kitty Audi Mundi, who we all have 10 of because of the Clone Battle Pack. Coleman Trevor. Trevor. Trevor or Trevor? Trebler, it's Trebler. Um, he actually has an epic mold. They need to make more of this species. I'm not quite sure what it's called. And then Count Dooku, who's worth like way too much nowadays. Okay, now we're getting into the, some of the Clone Wars stuff, which we're all, I know we're all interested. I can't believe I do drop tests. I dropped the Millennium Falcon. Oof. Um, I used to have the 2011 Millennium Falcon. It was so cool. I got none. Oof. Yeah. Trevor. Is it? Well, it says Trevor here. So, I don't, I don't know. 
He is sick, but he died very fast. I know, too fast. It was almost it was kind of depressing, honestly, because he he had the guts to take on Dooku, but then he just died. And then we have G notions. I want to get more G notions because I want to make a G notion mock at some point because that'd be like really epic. And then Barris Offy, who we all we all hate. And then we have the clone troopers. <laughs> I think tree boy, yeah, it's like it's like tribor. I'm pretty sure. So we have the clone troopers, of course, who we all know and love. I have these two, and that's it. I don't have any of the clone wars versions. I don't have the clone pilot or the gunner, which is sad. Ooh, here's a figure I do have: the Ahsoka Tano clone wars version. It's epic, and then the rebels one, who I don't have. It's pretty epic as well. And then the Plo Koon, who I'm pretty sure goes for quite a bit. It's a cool figure. As well. And then some more clone troopers. I have both of these guys. Um, they're actually just over there on my other desk. So yeah, pretty cool troopers here. And then the 2011 May the 4th promo was um, this like Shadow Arc Trooper, I'm pretty sure. Pretty cool. I want that Ahsoka, just... You just have the new one? Uh, yeah. Well, the new one's still good. I, I don't really like how people are complaining it so much about the whole, um, what are they called? Like, horn thingies are saying they're too, too big. But honestly, I literally don't see what's wrong with them. They look fine. And then we have the Coruscant Guard, which goes for a lot nowadays. And then we have some more Phase 2. Oh, first super we all have. Not this exact version. We have the newer version, but... Because I was into Lego in 2012, then stopped till the end. Dude, I was there, dude. I stopped Lego in, like, 2014, I'd say. And then I picked it back up in 2019. So I have... I have this 212th Trooper, which goes for quite a bit, I'm pretty sure. I only have one of them. But it's cool. And the Final First Trooper. Um, that I know a lot of people do have. I don't have it, though, unfortunately. And then I have a decal version of the Wolfpack Trooper. It's pretty bad, though, but it's still quite cool. And then we have the clone commanders. Gotta go on my phone, gonna die. Oof. Alright, go charge your phone then, bro. <laughs> okay, so, um, here we got the famous and awesome Captain Rex, who goes for like $100. I know, kind of crazy. We got Commander Cody, who has. A, this is a pretty awful figure, like, if you look at detailing and stuff, but still worth a lot because it's Commander Cody. Commander Fox who um, lots of people hate and lots of people love. And then we have Commander Neo, who I have. And then Commander Gree, who I really, really want. I want Commander Gree so bad. Yep, want that. No leg print. I know, there's no leg printing on Commander Gree. But hopefully, I have a... Th I'll be back. To flex, but not to flex. Phase 2, Commander Cody. Um, his visor is somewhere. I don't know where it is, but... Phase 2, Commander Cody, decal. Pretty epic. Um, so, yeah. That's him. I have Gree. He is sick. Yeah, I know. I want Gree so bad. I can't believe I didn't get the AT AP last year. And then Commander... Whoops. Phase one, Commander Wolf. Commander Wolf is actually my favorite clone commander, and the 104th is my favorite clone legion, so that is cool. A Sarge Adventurous in her 2003 form, uh, which is cool. I have this event, a Sarge Adventurous. And General Grievous. Um, yeah, epic figure. I have him as well. I have two of them. I have his Clone Wars version and his Episode 3 version. And then Padme. <laughs> Looks hideous. And then, um, yeah. I'm gonna glance over some of these. Like, uh, these ones, these weird, nasty Clone Wars. Yes. I has now plugged in this weird object into this weird device. I will. Dude, I've been there before, pal. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming back, brother. So then, um, got some cool Mandalorian figures. Some bounty hunters that no one really remembers. This dude, what was his name? Quinlan Voss. Yeah, there he is, Quinlan Voss. Um, pretty cool figure. I'm pretty sure he goes for quite a bit. Um, what's his name? 
uh, Savage Press, right? He, I have him. I have um, Savage Press is cool. Uh, two. Bernard Wilson's that Padme. Oh, the Padme is terrifying, dude. I have the Clone Wars one and the White one. Nice. Embo cool. Embo. What was Embo? He. Oh, this dude. Yeah, pretty sick. Hello there, um, Big Rick Mox, or, oh, I'm sorry, General Kenobi. Um, I just got him. Yeah, he is a very cool figure. And then I have both of these figures, well, kind of. I have this figure, and then I have Anakin's Clone Wars version, like his, like, ugly, cartoony face. And then I have Obi-Wan in his regular Episode 3 form. Not with the burn stains, like the new one, just the regular one. Ah! And then the astromech droids. Um, I have none of these astromech droids. But they're still cool. Oh, you got that book? Cool. I have the original encyclopedia with the exclusive Han Solo meddling figure. Huh, yeah. This one came with the, um, Darth Maul, which is pretty epic. So yeah, we're just gonna look through some of these pictures. And chill. We got some Jedi. Pretty nice. Ooh! Episode 3 Clone Troopers. Let's go. These are epic. You have that too where you screwed? Nice. Okay. So, episode 3 Clone Troopers. Pretty nice. I only have one of these OG Clone Troopers, and it's the Coruscant Guard version. I traded it for um, some like cool Lego City figures with a friend. I got the Airborne Trooper, which is pretty nice. I only got one 212 battle pack back in the day, but it's still quite cool. The regular 212, both the Kashyyyk Troopers. And then Chewbacca, pretty nice. Episode 3 is my favorite film. Episode 3 is the best Star Wars film of all time. And Anakin with all his burn marks and stuff. Darth Vader, pretty nice, without the on printing, sadly. And then we got into Solo. Fun fact, I never finished Solo. I got so bored I fell asleep during it. So, uh, yeah. From Solo figures, I never got any Solo Lego sets because I wasn't in the Lego when it came out, but... These are some cool figures. Ooh, the Mud Trooper is the best. This guy is epic. Like, tell me this guy doesn't look awesome. Episode 3 is great. Yeah, it's the best one. Other than the cringy Anakin and Padme moments. Chewbacca in his, like, solo form. Cool. Some other cool figures. Cool stuff. We're just gonna play in silver solo. Ah, here is the figure I have. Right here. Darth Maul. Pretty nice. Just chilling there. No, I have the character in second for, in second from 2011, not 2015. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rio Skeeter meant he had the 2011 one and the 2015 one. Ooh! This is this is my stuff. This, these are my Lego sets. Rebels. Rebels, it was amazing, okay? I only have one Rebels Lego set, but it's so good. I have the early 2019 dictionary and the 2017 Ultimate Book. Epic, guys. You didn't finish Solo? Yeah, no, I did not finish Solo. I just don't have really any interest into it. All I, all I remember was, like, waking up, and my dad was like, you have to watch the ending of this, and then we both saw Darth Maul and freaked out, and we kind of went crazy. But that was literally it. I like Rebels. Rebels is awesome. So, yeah. We got Harrison Dula, Chopper. I have Chopper. Cool figure. I got Kanan in his blind thing, because I have the Phantom. I have I have Sabine as well. Pretty cool. Zeb, I want to get Zeb, but he's like worth so much because he only came the ghost. Um, Ezra, also a pretty cool figure. The uh, Agent Callus, which is pretty nice. I have the Inquisitor. My friend gave me this one, and I have the Almighty Admiral Thrawn, who everyone loves. I have no sense though. I never, dude, Burner, you have to watch Rebels. It's, it's literally godly. It's the best, it's, 
it's not better than Clone Wars. I won't go that far, but it is near as good as Clone Wars, okay? It is really good. Okay. So then we have um, Rogue One, which I only watched twice, but it was very, very good. So K2, Cody, a bunch of cool guys here. I do not remember this dude's name, but I remember loving him because it was like blind force magic. I watched the first episode, it was boring. <laughs> well, you know, you've always got to, you got to get used to some stuff, you know, like, I'm sure when you first watched Star Wars, you weren't that into it, but I watched the first three episodes, actually. Okay, that makes more sense, but trust me, episode, um, season four, like, season four, I can't say anything bad about it. It's just so good. Alright. So then we got some more of these Rebel on sets. Um, Imperial Hover Tank Pilots. Really cool figure. I never got any Rogue One sets, but I went in the Lego Batman. Rebels didn't beat the Stormtroopers to death. When their ship or walker blew up, the ghost crew let them run away to safety. LMAO. No wonder they always are getting chased and tracked. Well, remember, they're, they're kind of like Batman, you know? These people have, like, legit lives. They obviously only kill them. But, yeah, I see what you mean. Runaway slash getaway, yeah. I mean, but hey, it was on Disney Disney XD. All right, they don't want to be killing everyone there. I'm one with the force, and the force is with me. Exactly, exactly. That's that's the line. Director critic, pretty epic figure as well. And then we got the Imperial Death Troopers, who are worth a lot of pressure as well. Junior showing their um, Imperial disguise. And then Shore Trooper, or Scarab Trooper, worth a lot. I'm pretty like $10 each. Another cool, like, just alien type, Rogue One Troopers. And then we come to episode 4. We have the terrible redesign of the Storm Trooper. Awful, garbage, terrible. Blech. Zeb and Rex are so good, even. They have one figure and has way more screen time than this. Oh, yeah. I know. Lego is kind of stupid. They just remake stupid old sets that no one really cares about. Um, and yeah, Zeb and Rex are both really good. Rex is just one of the best characters ever in Star Wars. Hello, AG Custom Works. What's up? His name is Chirat Inwe. Yeah, I, don't, I do not remember that name. I know someone who called a death trooper Darth Vader. <laughs> who is it? I want to... I wanna, Put up some fuss with them. I probably spelled that wrong. How many Falcon first battle packs does everyone have here? I got three. You guys only have two? <coughs> Imagine only having two. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Um, so, yeah. We have all the Stormtroopers. The new redesign sucks, but the original one, which is the only one I have, is amazing. C-3PO. Pretty cool. Pretty cool figure. I'm getting a third one soon, yeah. Age only has one. I got two for Christmas, and I got one, like, the day it came out, so. The Rebel Trooper, which is also really, really nice for you. Princess Leia. We all know who it is, folks. We all know who it is. Eric, I thought you only had one. Oh, you had the old HRT reader? That was, that's epic. Like the 2005 one? That was, that's sick. But I just bought one this weekend. A Falcon Spell Pack? Nice. I like my custom clones and hate the 2020 slash APT. Wait, you hate the art? Wait. R slash AP2? Uh, I, I don't like the 2020 design. I don't like 2020. I like RP2, though. AP2, I, like, AP2's alright. I told you on a stream, but you didn't see. Oh my gosh, this going to be so rare. Farm by Luke, the greatest figure. We want a chrome Farm by Luke. This they should really make a Jawa battle pack. That'd be epic. Obviously, Ben Kenobi. Have this one. 
Sand Trooper, pretty nice too. And then the Moss, Icy Cantina, pretty nice. Pretty nice as well. Out of the 2015 Toys R Us 13. Oh, oh my god, that, that was such a good figure with like the side leg printing and the arm printing. That was a great figure. Han Solo and Greedo chilling. Totally not going to show each other. Ooh. Grand Moff Tarkin. Pretty epic. And then who is this? Admiral Yularen? Yeah, he was a, um, exclusive as well. Hashtag, we want a farm boy with battle pack. They did make a job. They made a Tatooine battle pack that came with an astromech droid, two Jawas, and a sand... What was it called again? Sand Raider. Yeah, it was not a Jawa. But I'm, I'm talking like four Jawas and like a Bantha or something like that. Hashtag, we want a farm boy with battle pack. <laughs> I hate the realistic slash animated face too. Yeah, no. Yeah, RP two is the best, okay? Because first, um, RP two, like the little curve on his mouth just looks the best, and they don't overdo the um shading underneath the helmet right here, and it just it just looks the best in my opinion. RP two. 2020 is better than AP2, though, I'd say. Or worse. Hey, everyone. Hello, Ethan Bricks. What's up? Nah, mate. Gonk Droid Battle Pack. Yeah, let's get a Gonk Droid Battle Pack, guys. Yeah, I have Tarkin. Yeah, Tarkin's a cool figure. But I really want... Oh, we want... I really want a... We want a... AB1 Battle Pack? Huh? I can't believe no one talks about how R2 has been included in a set every year last I know, no, I knew that. It's like 18 years away. So, I want to see 32nd question. That'd be epic, but I, I feel like the the reason LEGO won't do that is because they, um, like, 332nd Trooper is one of those, like, kind of exclusive figures in one set, and it's kind of nice in that way, I guess. Got some more pilots. We want eighty first battle pack. What legion is the eighty first? I'm gonna search that up. Eighty first Chrome Legion. Oh, they like the dark red. That is epic. That's a great color scheme. It's because he's iconic for the younglings. Who's who's iconic for the younglings? A G oh A G. It's because he's iconic. For, oh yeah yeah yeah. R B um. R two D two is. Hello Gorgon Studios. Awesome, very awesome. Well, any four identical figures in one power pack is rarer than my dog behaving. <laughs> Joke of the day, folks. That says D1, not 81. Wait. Yeah, no. I think B1. B1 droid battle pack? Is that what you meant? Oh, man. B1 droid. Oh, just a red. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. It's a regular, um, like, it's a regular, like, B1, uh, droid. Dude, I have, I got, like, 20, like, 15 or something. They had, like, uh, one of those droid carriers, and I got, like, two of them. So I have so many droids. Some nice original trilogy sets here. They're hot outfits. Darker is 87th. There's no can canonical 81st yet. That might be. Yeah, I, I, my my bad. I thought I thought you said 81st. Got the AT-AT pilot. 
the snow trooper. Busy building the ATAT -AT actually. It's like right over there on my desk. I know, I, I I know what a B1 droid is. I just forgot for a minute. I'm sorry. Someone told me that Ty the Lego guy streams four months. Full beggars. I want to go check out a new streamer. Oh, you don't do it? Okay. Oh, I was listening to Hockey Pam on Yeah, I know you meant B1 Robins. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm such a, I'm, not, I'm, I'm an unoriginal Star Wars fan. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I am a very original Star Wars fan, and I am smart. I just forgot what B1 was. I don't think so. You should have said B1 Battle Droid. That would have made really sick. My favorite set I have is the Death Star. The Death Star is a big flipping set, bro. It's very good there. Boba Fett, of course, amazing. I have like two Boba Fetts. Got some nice stuff here. Hello, Clutter Productions. What's up? I'm lagging. Oof, my comment. Oh, okay. My Wi Fi's back. Nice. Oh, the best spin dual set. I don't have it. I want it so bad. Then Han Solo, about when he's about to go to the club tonight. I have one of these. And I have this. 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 I don't have these guys. But, um, yeah, I, I had Jabba's Palace. Which was really good. Episode 6 sets. And then we come to the sequel. Oh, no, that wasn't the sequel. That was just an alien pilot. Ooh. The, um... What's it called? I have 121 subs now. Okay. Congrats, Ethan. That's epic. Got the Scout Trooper. The Ewa. Yes. In the title it says 2019. Is it a 2021? My bad. I thought it was 2019. It's fine. We've got Ewoks. I have two Ewoks. These two. This dude and this dude. Pretty nice. Hoth Rebel Troopers. I have two Hoth, two Hoth Rebel Troopers. I have three, three. Wow. Oh my gosh. I subbed on my alt accounts to bring in my accidents one time because it, it's weird. Sometimes I accidentally sub on my alt accounts and I feel bad about unsubscribing to them, so I don't. So yeah, Brenner, uh, I am subscribed to you on like four different accounts. So yeah. I can always. I'm kidding. Menacing your younger family member buying fake Lego Ryan. V Dude, I would literally unfamily them. I'd just walk out of the room and be like, see y'all later. Alright, the first Order Trooper. I don't have, like, I have barely any sequel sets. I don't even have a single first Order Stone Trooper. I got 28 little. Yeah, AG, it, like, you always, like, I literally remember four months ago, I think, I made a 20 subscriber special, and I was so proud of it. So weird. I don't care about subs. Yeah, you really shouldn't, because like, literally, I do not care about getting monetized or any of that crap. I literally just do it because I like it and it's fun. I don't see myself having any future in LEGO at all or YouTube. Hello, LEGO Scary Stories Zamora. So, for how do you actually sub on forecast? So, what happens to me is I see you in my comment section and then i'm like oh whoa this this guy's good i'm gonna sub to him on my alt account and then i start watching your videos on my alt account and then when i go back to my regular account i'm like wait i haven't seen this guy upload in ages let me go check and then i realize i'm not subscribed to you so i subscribe to you there and now on my other alt account i realize i'm not subscribed to you so i subscribe to you there and i'm just too easy to switch my accounts it's it's, it's very strange i got 354 subs so like cool i don't want to see a girl Everyone subscribe to Burger Box right now or else you will not or else Lego will make bad Lego Star Wars sets. Okay. Subscribe to him right now. Alright? I'm kidding. Don't subscribe to him, he's awful YouTuber. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
It was a joke. It was a joke. No, but yeah, for real, 350 subscribers is really amazing. Like, that's really, really good. I have all the sequel sets from the 2019 wave. That is nice. Is that... That's not Kylo Ren's shuttle, is it? No, Kylo Ren's shuttle is 2020. I do YouTube because I'm bored. <laughs> Same. My dog ate my arm and I'm bleeding your voice. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I see. <laughs> is that why you're always on your Johannes account? Yes, that is why. Well, so, so Johannes was actually... That's like my legit account where I just... It's weird. Okay. So I started YouTube on my Hockey Penguins Youth account. Well, I actually, I started watching YouTube on my Johannes account. And I watched for like, how long? A lot of years. Just on my own account. And then I was like, I'm gonna make a YouTube channel. But I didn't wanna make YouTube on that account, right? Because I just felt like it was weird. And also I had got, I'd gotten kind of close to like other YouTubers and I didn't want them to like forget who I was. So I made a new account. But I still, but I didn't want to like sub to the same people I had on the other account, so I just watched on that account post on this account. So, can we get a Chrome Captain Phasma? That would be epic. That would be really, really cool. But we all know Lego doesn't like to make exclusive minifigures, so sucks. No, that's a 2019 shuttle. Damn, it looks good. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Every time I type Phasma, my autocorrect changes it to Plasma, and so Captain Plasma lol. <laughs> I didn't know you were both the same accounts. No, they are. They are. Until a little while ago, yeah. A lot of people are confused with that. I act and I still gate. I have like sixty subs on that account, and it's like what? Like I, my, that channel is really dead. I don't post anything there. I posted like two videos once because I thought they were cool, and then. Now it's gonna do it. Cool book. Hello, Fire First Dude. It is a cool book. Yeah, so I I have only I have this figure. And then I have what other figures that I have in the sequels. I have I have this Prince Slayer from the um, what's his what's it called? Thingy, um Titan Interceptor. Titan Interceptor. And then I have this um pilot i said to johannes burner please don't because uh what happens will if you sub to that account then more people will come to it and i don't want people to come there i want people to go to this account so i, I mean you can if you want but like really it, it does not it does nothing for me and then we have some Last Jedi stuff, which was probably the worst of the sequels. The sequels honestly weren't that bad. It was just, it didn't make sense. Like, linked with Star Wars and stuff. Snoke was just a disaster. Like, I, I don't get it. Ooh, the first Order Star Destroyer set was actually really epic. The General Grievous mask thing was so good. Yeah, that was that was funny, except it was so long back ago and it was not very good, like stop motion stuff. I fought first year. I set the podcast for 2.30. Okay, nice. I saw making podcast streams, they were so boring. Podcasts can be boring, like if you don't know if you don't have a set topic and if people are only fans of you. Like if M and do a podcast, like the Bad Bird podcast, he gets so many people because Obviously, people are fascinated. Like, what's Ryan like? It'd be cool if you made him, you know? So, that's a totally different story. I've been subbed to that account for months. Yeah, this thing, a lot of people, when they when I, when I, like, talk, when I, like, watch their videos for a while, and they're like, oh, okay, this kid's cool, I'm gonna sub to him. But then, they realize, wait, he doesn't post anything. What's he doing? And then, <laughs> they see my newest video. My newest video on the channel is literally, like, Subscribe to my new account. This channel is dead or something like that. So, same Eric. Yeah. Hello, Chip Brick. What's up? I have a fun story for you. I uploaded a short. Get only fifty views in three days. And the third day, somehow just booming a hundred. Then this morning, I found. The shorts are crazy. Shorts. They don't work as good as they used to, but it's still ridiculous. Like people can get like 
2 million views and they get so many subscribers from it. Ah, the Sith Trooper. Sith Trooper epic. Epic set. And that is it. That is the whole book. Wow. The reason I stopped making podcast streams because they were all supposed to they were supposed to be all the Bricketeers and the only people who joined were Lego Joe and Uncle Mike and they didn't really have good conversations ever. I like the first War Star Destroyer just like I like the Imperial Star Destroyer more than Yeah, I like the like the like um I know a lot of people like Rube Brickwiz, he hates the um kind of like smaller sized um play scale ships like that. Like the Venator and the Star Destroyer and the Imperial Star Destroyer and the First War Star Destroyer. But I like that. I think that's cool because some people, <clears throat> me, don't want to get like a huge seven hundred piece Star Destroyer and stuff. And that's all good for those A folds and stuff. But like for me I'd rather just get like a two thousand piece one, so I have a short with 1k, 1.8k. Yeah, that's epic, dude. Yeah, AG got his blown up as well. I have a short with 2.3k and one with 3.3k. Yeah. I only made two shorts. None of them were successful, so I stopped doing it. My longer videos are more than all my shorts. Yeah. It's harder to get popular with those then. So. Hello at PTA. PTA. PTA, hey, what's up? Pizza, is it called pizza? Yeah, yeah. All right, I gotta go back to do my homework. I'm gonna end the stream in just a minute. Pretty sure PTA is also a favorite thing. I was talking about Tommy in it. <laughs> PTA's profile picture on Discord is Tommy in it. <laughs> it's just like Tommy in it with a bunch of filters on it. It was so funny. One of my shorts got like 3k and one of my recent ones got 10k. So from the 10k one I got like 80 subs. Yeah. Like I know CC Cafe Corner. She had one with she had like the NES and she got like 3 mil or like 2 million 4 million views on it. And now she has like 3k subs, so it's ridiculous. I think maybe you should repost the General Grievous mask, guys. It is. It is on this channel, actually. You just gotta scroll all the way down. It's one of my po most popular videos. Go to, go to my videos, click on the most popular, and it's like, it's their most popular video on my channel. So, yeah. My stop motion contest was my fourth most popular video, and I've had zero entries. Well, I've had two entries so far. I've had, no, I've had one entry, actually, because the other guy tried entering something that's too late. So, yeah. Okay, I haven't read chat yet. Wait. I'm surprised my Dark Trooper is still going even after the middle of the yeah, well, it's a popular thing. Like, I'm way too obsessed with this plastic stuff. It's getting hurt. I know. I decided to take a break in January because of the summer sets. When they were revealed, I was like, okay, I gotta, gotta save up now. Gotta save up. Did the stream go down? Stream just go down. Okay. Rocky Penguin just showcase some of your. What? Am I still streaming? Hold up. Someone say something in chat, please, because I'm afraid the stream might have just lagged out.
Oh, the streamer out for a second then, so. Yeah, I don't know what was that. I was just, I was on my phone watching the stream answering questions and then right there. You should create your custom quiz, basically guarantee judge reviews. I mean, I guess I could do that. It's okay, it's this guy, but I don't, I don't have any good decals. Like, Commander Quiz is my best decal, and he has a fold in his chest, so it's kind of bad still. The stream going on for a second. Orange Brick's mock contest video from over two months ago is still trending even though it's already over. Yeah. Funny how YouTube can recommend stuff like that. Uh, Burner, are you okay? <laughs> he just typed. Hi! I'm, 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 I'm okay, I'm back. Okay. Should we get a soon? Yeah, I know, I know I'm still alive. Yes, I am going to end the stream in just a minute. I'm going to stream maybe like another day. I don't know when. A day. A nice day. But yeah. Okay. Guys, it is time to wrap the stream. <laughs> Hello, kid. Okay, pancake. You came right at the right time. We are ending the stream now. YouTube Shorts is like TikTok, and it's literally just TikTok. That's annoying, but it, it works. It works to get subs. So, well, bye, says pancake. All right. Lol. Laugh out out loud, says the return. Just kidding. Okay, guys. Yeah, this was a fun stream. We just went through Encyclopedia. Got this epic Darth Maul figure. Um, who still can't manage to knock over a clone trooper. <laughs> still can't manage to knock over a clone trooper. Still can't manage to. Okay, there you go. <laughs> My decals got shipped. Yay! My decals got, um, decals coming shadow. Nice. That's epic. I'm getting some for my birthday, which is nice. We sports and I'm not successful without shorts, so I'm good. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope to see you guys all on my next stream, which will probably be next weekend. Oh, that's my birthday next weekend, so I don't know. I might do like a birthday stream. Um, like, show me that's. Hi, everyone's showing up when I'm ending the stream. Yeah, the, the guys, the stream is ending in just a minute. Oh yeah, I, I actually gotta go now. Do my um homework. Happy barf day early! Yay! Yeah, I'm I'm not expecting to get too much Lego because I got way too much for Christmas, but yeah. Okay, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next stream or next video. Um, reminder. Wait, what was the date again? Quick reminder. Wait, I need to check or something real quick. Bye, good luck with homework. Thank you. Toodles. Alright, see you guys. Um, reminder, the stop motion contest ends. When does it end? When does it end? I'm pretty sure it was like February 10th, right? February 10th. Okay, yeah. So the um, Star Machine Contest ends February 10th. So if you guys want to enter, you guys have like a week? About a week? No, two weeks. Almost, yeah, over two weeks to finish. So you guys have time. 
And uh, yeah, you guys win $15 if you win. So uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, see you guys in the next stream or video, whatever. Goodbye. Enter my latest. Okay, I will burn. All right, see you guys.